How many of you have heard of the PETA organization or know what PETA is? We have known about the PETA organization since high school, have seen advertisements, and recognize them. We want you to know what PETA stands for and what this organization actually does. PETA stands for People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, which is an organization that helps end animal cruelty. Why was it created? PETA was founded in March of 1980. It was created to help end and expose animal cruelty to the public and grant them their animal rights. According to the official PETA website, PETA focuses on four main categories, which would be the laboratories, food, clothing, and entertainment industries. Laboratories would be animal testing used for cosmetics. The food industry would be all meat products sold at the grocery store, such as ground beef, T-bone steak, poultry items, etc. The clothing industry sells fancy coats and other clothing made out of animal fur and skin. And last but not least, the entertainment industry uses animals for movies and circuses. How PETA helps. Here's a short video of the PETA Senior Vice President speaking about what PETA does to help. My name is Daphna. I oversee PETA's Animal Shelter, which assists animals in underserved areas of southeastern Virginia and northeastern North Carolina. Every year, PETA publicizes its report on the numbers of animals we take in and what becomes of them, and we'd like you to see the whole picture. The suffering of thousands of animals has been prevented, alleviated, or ended, and their lives have been saved or improved thanks to PETA's shelter and its field workers. Emily, Amanda, Jess, Heather, Kat, Holly, Kate, Thomas, Jessica, Hannah, and Ashley. Every PETA has a project called Community Animal Projects, also known as CAP in different locations to help rescue animals from harsh and abusive conditions. Next are clips from PETA.org of PETA's cat workers and volunteers explaining the ways they rescue animals from these harsh conditions. We deliver free, sturdy, custom-built dog houses and straw bedding to those who would otherwise go without any protection from the elements. We replace heavy chains with lightweight tie-outs, and we remove tight or makeshift collars, replacing them with comfortable ones. Every year, we help thousands of dogs for free, treating parasites, providing flea and fly strike prevention, shaving matted fur, distributing water buckets, food and toys to play with, and giving much needed affection. We deal with unimaginable suffering, injury and neglect. We see dogs chained without shade in the sweltering summer sun, penned for life amid their own filth, yelled at and just forgotten keep their animals by showing them how to cope with behavioral quirks, grooming challenges, house training woes, and more. And we transported more than 1,200 dogs and cats to and from our clinics, free of charge for people who had no transportation. Treats drove animals to veterinary clinics for care and much more. Nearly 100 animals were brought back to Virginia from these devastated disaster areas to be given a chance at finding a loving home. 724 of the animals we euthanized were brought to us by loving guardians desperate to relieve their animal companions suffering from old age, illness, or injury, but unable to afford the high cost of euthanasia. PETA provides this community service, which most other shelters do not, free of charge. PETA's animal shelter never turns away animals, regardless of their age, history, breed, physical condition or temperament. We don't have a waiting list or charge an admission fee, and our staff is available 24-7, including to respond to after-hours emergencies. PETA often takes in the aggressive or feral animals rejected by other shelters as unadoptable. We serve more than 250 communities, many of which are low income, often filling in for animal shelters that don't take cats in at all or that have intake policies so restrictive the taxpayers are left with nowhere to turn when they need help. We never want to euthanize an animal simply for being homeless. 
That's why we go into communities where animals need us the most and work at the root of the homelessness problem, unwanted births. Here are some example stories of how PETA has helped. Paranita the donkey was found in India on the road with a broken leg and her nostrils had been cut up. Peter rescued her and took her to their retirement home where she fully recovered. Jack the rat was used in college food experiments. A teacher assistant then contacted PETA for help in finding him a new home. He was then adopted by one of the PETA staff members. And lastly, we have Emmy the cat. She was found by construction workers on a job site. She was taken to PETA and was also adopted by a staff member. On our final point, we have how to join PETA. To be a part of PETA, one has to submit an online form that's found on their website and they receive a free starter kit and will also be notified of the events. Donations are always open and welcome to the PETA Foundation. After seeing this presentation, we hope that you have gained some knowledge about PETA as an organization, what it does, and what it stands for. Next time when someone mentions PETA, you'll be able to give your input about them. Thank you.